Hi guys, this is Mary. You're watching Cards TV. Welcome to the Mother Goose Blog Hop. Our host today is Teresa the Scrapbooking Queen, and she's going to tell you all about Mother Goose, and she'll have a project made with Mother Goose, and then each one of us that's in the hop today will have different nursery rhymes and different projects we're going to tell you about. And I've chosen to do Rain, Rain, Go Away. Now, we've grown up hearing this and singing this, and we sing it with our children and our grandchildren. We've all stood at the window when we were young, looked outside at the rain, and sung this little song. But let me read you the whole entire verse, and then I'm going to tell you uh, what the original verse was before it evolved into this Mother Goose nursery rhyme. Here's the, uh, the version that we have today. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring, bumped his head and he went to bed and he couldn't get up in the morning. Rain, rain, go away, come again another day, little Johnny wants to play. Now that's the verse we have today. But a long time ago, back in England, during the reign of Elizabeth I, they didn't sing it that way. They sang it, rain, rain, go away, come again another day. Little Johnny wants to play. Rain, rain, go to Spain. Never show your face again. And how that came into being was there were constant rivalries back during that time between the English and the Spanish. So the Spanish sent their big ships, and it was called the Spanish Armada. And they sent them over to England, and they were going to defeat the English, they thought. But they weren't counting on the smaller English ships being able to move faster. And also, because the weather was so bad and so stormy, the English ships were better able to get through all that bad weather. So the Spanish Armada was defeated. And that's how that verse, that last verse, Rain, rain, go to Spain, never show your face again. That's how that came to be. And then today it's evolved into the nursery rhyme that we have. I thought that was really interesting. And I can't wait to see what the other ladies have, especially Teresa with Mother Goose. Now that's where you want to start the hop today, guys. Because Teresa's our host. And she's going to kick it off with Mother Goose. And I've got a link for you. So if you started here with me, you can go back to Teresa and start at the beginning. But this is so much fun. And I really enjoyed hearing about that. Well, I've decided for my project, for my nursery rhyme, uh, to make a card. I've got a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. And this is on black cardstock. And I wanted it to look kind of vintage, so I've used lots of creamy brown chalk ink on my mats. I have an ivory mat, which is four by five and a quarter. Then from Pink Paisley, I used this uh, red with ivory stars, and this is three and three quarters by five. Down here, I have a little music border. This is from Die Cuts with a View. It's on a black mat, and the black mat is an inch and a quarter by three and three quarters and then the music note paper is an inch by three and three quarters. Now I printed out my verse using Kristen ITC for the font and I printed it at nine points on bold print and I used the center point feature and the elegant edges cartridge to cut around this Let's see, where's that book? Here we go. Now, the shape I used for this one is called Butterfly 2, and I used the oblong version, and you'll find that on page 51 in the Elegant Edges Handbook. And it's cut at 2 and 3 quarter inches. So I printed it out and then ran it through the Cricut, and I found the center, and then it cut the shape around it. And I cut the black. Uh, shadow right here also at two and three quarter inches and I just went ahead and put this down with a glue runner because I knew I was going to put my little boy with the umbrella on two thicknesses of foam tape and you'll find him in the child's year cartridge 
I guess this is Little Johnny. But he's on page 34, and you'd hit Shift and Umbrella to get the little boy version of this. There's also a little girl. But I cut him out at 3 inches. I used ivory for my shadow and then black for the top layer. And that is foam page 34. And like I said, he's on two thicknesses of foam tape. And I'm going to use this for a get well card. I thought it would be really cute. On the inside it'll say something like, are you under the weather? Something like that. But this is so much fun guys. Don't miss going to anybody's blog today. There's lots of blog candy and you're going to find all kinds of ways that you can use nursery rhymes and you're going to find out about nursery rhymes. I can't wait to find out the origins of a lot of them that I remember from when I was a child. So what you need to do guys is start with Teresa the scrapbooking queen and I'll have a link for you. Now from here you're going to see Vicki. And I can't wait to see what Vicki has. It's going to be awesome, I know. And there's lots of blog candy, so make sure you uh, find out what you need to do to get entered to win the blog candy. Now, if you're a follower of Cards TV, just leave me a comment here at this blog, and you'll be entered for a chance to win a set of Cards TV stamps. It'll be the uh, Thankful for You set, which will be just right for uh, Thanksgiving, which is coming up soon. But thank you so much for coming by today, guys. This has been a lot of fun. Thanks for hopping with us. Now, go see Teresa if you're just starting out, or go to Vicki if you've already been through uh, with all the other ladies. And I've got you a link to go see Vicki as well. Thanks, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye now.